four to eight month phase. In this stage, a child grows. He or she starts reception and expression of information through speech sounds. In reception, there are two sub points. First is understand supra segmentals. That is rise and fall of voice, loudness, pauses. When a person speaks with raised and loud voices, then the child may be able to identify that loud sound from his or her sense of hearing. Another example related to it: when parents are arguing and speak loudly in anger, then the child starts to fumble and cry by listening to those loud voices. The child can discriminate more speech tones like calm, polite sounds in the normal sound pattern, and even the louder speech sounds like when produced in anger or the low flat sound in sadness, etc. The child hears and tries to understand different speech sounds. In this phase, the child is able to understand the various tones of different speech sounds. Second, discriminate more speech sounds. As the child is acquiring language, he or she starts to identify and differentiate between different speech sounds such as b, e, p, s, etc. more. In this phase, they are able to discriminate between the different phonemes. the languages they are exposed to expression there are two sub points under it first is vocal play that is suck or play with thumb do you think thumb sucking here signify that the child needs milk that is not so this is vocal play for example if there is no one around to talk to the child then in that spare time child gets bored and starts to suck his or her thumb Whenever child get a chance to be alone, he or she start to do so, to make the vocal sounds. He or she may realize that this is the new experience for me. Thumb sucking by child is done for several reasons and ways. Example: When parents are in an argument with each other, at that time the child may feel stressful and start to suck their thumb to self comfort. In state of sadness or isolation, some children have a habit to suck their thumb. These habit. may stay with the child even when asked to not to do so so these are different ways which the child uses sucking the thumb for vocal play second is babbling babbling means the chain of repeated speech sounds it consists of sounds such as b b b ma 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 na 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 etc an infant appears to be experimenting with uttering articulate sound which are non meaningful but this is done by the child for enjoyment and interest if someone talks to the child then the child may show interest by producing repeated speech sounds it is an important milestone in language development